This one. Sea slugs. God damn sea slugs. <sighs> I tell you, William, it's getting so the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handymen, he should have found some with less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. Holy shit. ceiling.
there's no other way. Every time. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. Eighteen ninety-five. I thought this took place in like. Oh um, yeah, it's a couple different time periods actually. Fractures in what the forties or fifties. Is like early 1900s. What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. 
If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. <laughs> he wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. I think dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. It's about to get real. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? I was so young. I, I always remember him just being there. be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? as you'd expect.
little girl in the film. It's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember he, he was, he had crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know that something would happen, but, but he just lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs> So I'm gonna call it break time right here. And I'll be back in like 30 minutes to 45 minutes maybe. Gotta go get my laundry and shit. Alright, I'll be right back.